It's January 2023 and yeah, we're going on our first trip. This time we're going to Davis Mountain State Park in Texas. And Delta, as always, is ready to go. Go in. That's a good girl. And off we go on to our new adventure. Delta and I just did a little stop here at the Prada store, which is halfway to uh, Marfa, Texas. And of course, this is not a real store. This is actually uh, some sort of an art project, which was built in 2005. And even though I've been here a couple of times, this fence is new to me with all those locks. We're driving on Texas 166 through the Davis Mountains and are about 20 miles from Davis Mountain State Park. And I've never been here, so I would need to know yeah. where, where to go. And, sure, and I'll show you how to perfect. get to your site. I heard on some YouTube videos uh, that there's even cable on the sides. There used to be. They used took to it out about two years ago. Oh, really? All right, we're all set. And yeah, the uh, full hookup sites used to have cable, t uh, cable TV. But as the ranger said, not anymore. They took it out. Well, we got plenty of other things to do. Nothing to worry about. And that's our site straight ahead. Site eight with those trees. That, that looks nice. Yeah, we just set up camp. Delta is excited. She can't wait. It's nice here. Beautiful weather, 70 degrees. So this is our site here, site eight. Full hookups. All right, taking a bike ride from my site, site eight, down to the bathhouse. All those sites here to the left and to the right, there are full hookups. So and here we are. That is the bathhouse. Those would be the ladies' rooms here on the other side. And I just noticed that they also have a handicapped section for women and on the other side for men. And this is the bathhouse. And you got the toilets right here. One, two. And then the showers are here. Also two. So what is the verdict of the bathhouse? This here is the interpreter center. Oh yeah, I think I heard about it. You can do bird watching here. Yes, right there. So this is actually inside the interpreter center. I got a snake skin here and some skulls. They show the history of the park. Yeah, quite nice actually. And you can do bird watching from uh, inside also. Well, that's a cute little airstream. I've never seen one that small. Yeah, there are some big rigs here too. I like my site. I have that big tree straight ahead. We have a bench and then this view right there. There's no cell service here, nothing. Uh, the interpretive center has um, Wi-Fi and the, the restroom, the main bathhouse that has Wi-Fi also. 
Well, it is 7.30 in the morning. Temperature around 28 degrees. It was nice and cozy inside the trailer. And now we're gonna go for our morning walk. So for our morning walk, we're gonna to check out here the Montezuma Quail Trail. Well, first impression of our first trail, they are steep and very rocky. So you gotta watch your step because it goes all the way up this hill here. Yeah, some really nice views from up here where the trail splits to the left Indian Lodge and to the right it goes to the park headquarters. Yeah, we're gonna check out the Indian Lodge trail for a little bit. Well, there it is, the sun just comes up over the mountain ridge on the other side. So it should be around eight o'clock in the morning right now. I don't know, there's some sort of marker to the left of that tree. Oh, yeah, that marks the trail. Well, thank you very much. That means we have to go up there. And she just runs it up like, like it's nothing. Oh, girl, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> she can't wait, she's so excited. She loves this. Another trail marker. Jesus, we gotta go all the way up there. Oh, that trail is sure something. Wow. Honestly, I'm on all fours right now. It is so steep. Look where she is at. All the way up there again. Yeah, we reached the top of the mountain, which is a plateau. Very windy up here. And this was supposed to be a short morning walk for Delta before we go on an actual hike. But then this turned out to be the hike. Well, go figure. Didn't know it was that steep. And uh, if you're not sure footed or have trouble breathing, don't do it. It is steep. As I said in my previous videos, what a beautiful country this is. Those are the views from up here. Hope you can hear me over the wind. So finally, the Indian Lodge is visible, the white building down there in the valley. I think that's what Delta kept seeing. I couldn't see it. There it is. It's a whole herd of them. That's awesome. Yeah, they're watching me. Yeah, Delta is amazing. She saw those sheep from less than a mile away. And I kept looking and looking, I couldn't see a thing. So that's where we gotta go, all the way down there. Yeah, here are some slick and steep sections coming up. 
this rock here. Yeah. Better take your time if you hike this trail. And she's like, come on, old man, let's go. <laughs> We're two hours hiking right now, and I mean, that's a steep trail, as I said earlier. And that's the first time that Delta is tired. Well done, my girl. Well done, Delta. You're such a good girl, huh? Yeah, it's awesome. Good girl. Well, that's where we came from, all the way up there. Well, we made it to the end of Indian Lodge Trail. Water Trail. Yeah. Here's the marker. And actually what we did, that is our campsite. So we walked here, Montezuma Quail Trail to here, and then we walked all this here and that's where we are right now so now <laughs> okay we still got a ways to go now we got to go back you probably go back this way back to the trailer yeah one more adventure that delta and i did the uh, montezuma quail trail and the indian lodge trail quite a challenge Yeah, that lodge looks nice, really nice. And as usual, Delta wants to check everything out. Huh, Delta? Can you imagine being here at the pool, having those views? A nice margarita, some chili con queso. Along this road, all those are primitive campsites for tents. And then in between are picnic tables. Yeah, so far we have seen plenty of wildlife. They're looking at us, you know, we're here. But we're almost back at the trailers. So we made it. What a hike. Entering Fort Davis National Historic Site. This marker uh, marks the historic San Antonio El Paso Road. Back in the days to the left El Paso 200, to the right San Antonio 400 miles. So there's an entrance fee required. This is interesting here. I will see if they uh, accept the America the Beautiful Pass. And pets are also permitted, so that's a good thing. That's good. This is the history of Fort Davis. It was established by Lieutenant Colonel Washington Sewell with six companies of the 8th U.S. Infantry in October 1854 for protecting travelers on the San Antonio El Paso Road. Some buildings are still standing, others are in ruins, and then again others you can barely make out that they've ever been there. Yeah, I mean the last time I've been here was in 2005, so oh, it's a long long time ago. Yeah, well we've done some more restoration work, so. Cool, looking forward to it. Once they're open, just look for the word furnished. So this here is the enlisted man's barracks, 1869 till 1891. Oh, it's dark in here. Yeah, they did a pretty good job in restoring and preserving and showing the history of Fort Davis. So here you can only look through the glass. Those are the barracks. 
very nicely done. With an oven in the center, all the uniform pieces, and then a stack of rifles also in the center. Yeah, that building that we just left was one restored building of enlisted men's barracks. And here there would have been another one, only the foundation is left. The way to the commissary. So this is the commissary. <laughs> Delta wants to go in there, yeah. That's where they sell, well, used to sell all the goods. You can see some trails there. That's the old El Paso San Antonio Road. That's why this fort was built to protect it. Uh, imagine how those buildings would look like if they would have been restored. It's probably just an empty shell. Yeah, that's what it is. The wind is picking up. There's a wind warning for tomorrow with extreme high winds. Temperatures are gonna drop. Well, anyhow, this here is the officer's quarters kitchen, 1872 till 1891. Looks like a pecan pie on the table. And this here is the servant's quarter. And they must have just had laundry. Now those are people that got treated for various illnesses at the hospital and I believe that is the that is the building straight ahead This is Cueva de Leon, Mexican restaurant. It smells good. Just gonna check it out. See how it is. Yeah, it's, it smells so good here. I was at the gas station. I'm like, I have to check it out. <laughs> we drove Skyline Drive Trail. Actually, our campsite is here, so. From here we drove all the way up, uh, right there, right now. But that's also an old uh, CCC structure here. With uh, beautiful views. And now we check this out. So back in the days, the CCC built another structure, uh, a comfort station, that's what it was called, or more commonly known as the Lou with a view. So basically that used to be a restroom and it's that building right there. So this is the Lou with a view. Of course, it's not used as a restroom anymore. So 
So the view is actually that here. That is the view. I'm surprised that, that those doors are open. Yeah, that's the view from the loo. <laughs> but this morning, it's very windy. It was in the forecast that uh, they even had a high wind warning and the temperatures are going to drop significantly. So we're going to check out the headquarters trail. This is supposed to be an easy trail. Some cacti. That is a fairly short trail. It's one third of a mile one way straight ahead as the entrance to the park. Data, don't go there. You're a mountain goat, I know. Well, yeah, and as you can tell, and probably here, it is extremely windy up here. And then there's this little oasis right here on top of a little hill. Oh yay, and one marker. Yeah, yesterday we've been on a ridge line up there. That's the Indian Lodge Trail. Yeah, we reached the intersection where we turned to uh, Indian Lodge Trail straight ahead. And we came from the left where it says campground. So that's where we're going downhill. We are still on the easy part of this trail before we gotta go all the way down there. So here it starts. That's the downhill section. Yeah, the worst part is behind us now. That's good. Problem is going downhill on those rocks and they're almost as big as my fist. They start sliding underneath your boots and then uh, that, that's a scary moment when that happens. Delta of course doesn't have that problem. She got four paw drive and uh, that's why I always call her my little mountain goat because she's awesome. And we made it back to the campsite. This is Hotel Olympia in Fort Davis, Texas. It dates back to 1912. It even has a historical marker where it says uh, that it was built by the Union Trading Company in 1912. This right here, this is the lobby or part of it. It's the backside of the Hotel Olympia and it's connected to the Blue Mountain Bar and Grill. There are quite a few buildings here, like the drugstore and hotel and the Harvard Hotel on the other side of the street. The Fort Davis Courthouse was constructed between 1910 and 1911. This is dedicated to Tech Sergeant Manuel S. Gonzalez of Fort Davis, also known as the One Man Army, 1943. Front Street is part of the historic district of Fort Davis. 
And yeah, those buildings are late 1890s, early 1910s. That's when they were built. Believe it or not, but this is supposed to be an RV park. It probably was like 50 years ago. And I got a couple of old airstreams here. The woodshed. It's another historical building, the Orchard House at Hotel Olympia. Welcome to Marfa. We are now in Marfa, Texas at the Presidio County Courthouse, which was built in 1886. This is quite an impressive building. And right in front of the courthouse is the Prisoner of War and Missing in Action Memorial. Right across the courthouse is this old movie theater, the palace. Unfortunately, they don't show movies anymore. It's boarded up. Across the street is a National Historic Landmark, the Hotel Paisano. The cast of the movie Giants uh, stayed in this hotel back in the days. The Hotel Paisano was built around 1930. It's quite a big complex and uh, even today it still looks impressive. And I think it's one of the attractions here in Marfa, Texas. Nice courtyard. And of course here that would be the lobby. Yeah. Beautiful place. Oh my goodness, look at this. You feel right at home in the hotel, huh? <laughs> she loves it here. shine station and then here in memory of the movie giant and all the actors and of course James Dean and then they got all kinds of stores lining up the hotel it's like a little mall almost nice place that is also an interesting building. It's the Bright Building. Yeah, Mafra, Texas. It's a nice little Texas town. Uh, nice buildings, history. The hotel is amazing. So much to see in there. It's awesome. Okay, I can't tell if you can hear me. Even though I use a wind muff, the wind is extreme here. But this is the famous mural for the movie Giants. This is about eight miles outside of Marfa. And there is music playing. But I can't hear a thing. The wind is so extreme. On this morning walk, we're going to check out Skyline Drive Trail, this time the hiking trail. The trail starts from the Interpretive Center, where you can also do the bird watching. And uh, it's moderately challenging. There are 
are lots of tiny bridges that you have to cross here. The trail is like switchbacks leading up to the mountain. It goes up there. I believe we reached the challenging part now. Where it's quite steep. getting more rocky so that's the view that we have so far down there that green patch that's where the campground is well the views are opening up we made it almost to the top overlook all right let's climb up here let's see what kind of views we're gonna get And here we are and there's even a bench up here so from up here we can almost see the whole park the Davies Mountain State Park entrance is right there and then all the way through that canyon in the middle that's the campground and then it ends up at the Indian Lodge the white building in the center of the screen so the trails that we did headquarters trail that goes along there then the uh now i forgot the name quail something quail trail uh we hiked up to this top then over there and then down and then the indian lodge trail goes actually up over the ridge and then you end up at the indian lodge From our campsite up to here, on top of the mountain called uh, the Overlook, it's exactly 1.44 miles. And uh, the trail is labeled moderate, challenging. I think it's easier than the trails uh, we've done with those loose rocks. There are loose rocks here, but not as many as on the other trails we have done. It's still a challenge, yes, but it's doable. So yeah, and the views from up here I mean, it's, it's beautiful, breathtaking, yeah, absolutely. So from here on, we're descending back into the canyon and therefore back to the campground. This right here, that is the most rocky section and steep with huge boulders here everything is loose so you got to be careful look at her she always wants to explore the unknown but there that the trail is here come on let's go she is truly an adventurer all right we made it back to our campsite. 3.75 miles total was this morning hike. So we just opened the gate here. We are on the other side of the state park. There is the wilderness area and uh, you have to obtain the coat at the headquarters. And then you open that gate and you can drive in there to hike in this area. Now here from the parking lot, you have two options. We're gonna take this one, Seep Trail. Yeah, so far the steep trail is a fairly, fairly easy trail. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful here. We just came across a herd of mountain sheep. I believe that's what they are. That was amazing. They are in that canyon over there now. Now this seep trail is really nice. I don't want to talk too loud because there's so much wildlife around here. Yeah, we're continuously climbing up this mountain now. It is steep. It is rocky. 
I then one is once again the views and you just pay for it yeah we decided to head back down it's not worth it we've walked a lot already today and those rocks here they're not good for Delta's feet so I decided nope not gonna do it Somebody's waiting for me. <laughs> All right, Delta, let's go. It's our last evening. Delta is having her dinner. No wind or nothing. It's gonna be a cold night. This is the morning of our departure. It was a very cold, chilly night, 20 degrees is how far down the temperatures went so we're gonna have breakfast inside of course and then we will get ready to leave eyes on the truck um i was warm and cozy inside the trailer and uh thanks god my water didn't froze because that was an experiment i use it for the first time heated water hose i insulated everything and it worked. It worked. I insulated the uh, the outlet and the inlet, and in between is the heated water hose. Uh, also, a word of advice: the park's water pressure is 90 psi, so a pressure regulator is highly recommended. Yeah, this is it. We are leaving Davis Mountain State Park. It was a an awesome stay, and we did lots of hiking. Uh, the park is, is great, it's beautiful, love it. Um, last night it was 20 degrees. This morning, well, we're almost at uh, 65 again. Go figure. But yeah, can recommend it, awesome. So what I wanna do here before we leave is get a Texas State Park passport where they put the stamps in. Morning. You too. All right, got my stamp and my Texas State Park passport, and now we're leaving. Bye bye, Davis Mountain State Park. Doing a quick stop here at this uh, rest area that has some teepees, says picnic table. They even have grills here. And then those are the teepees. Solid concrete.